last month, reporters from the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project traveled to the Republic of Moldova. There, they met with one of the most dangerous organized criminals from the region and discovered just how easy it is to buy the weapons fueling the war in neighboring Ukraine. Chisinau, the capital of Moldova, is less than 100 miles from neighboring Ukraine. Both countries share a porous border with Transnistria, a largely lawless breakaway state with close ties to Russia. In other words, the perfect hub to traffic arms into the conflict zones in Ukraine. The arms dealer was Iwan Drutza, also known as Venea the Writer. He is one of the most notorious organized criminals operating in Moldova and Transnistria, and his reach has even extended to the European Union. Romanian authorities say Drutza was the man who brokered a brutal assassination attempt in Bucharest, Romania in 2012. Authorities say he hired the alleged assassin, Vitaly Proca, and provided him with the logistical support to kill the target. Romanian police say he made a mistake and shot the wrong man. Proca is the same alleged assassin authorities say shot the Russian banker, Garen Gorbanzov, in London in 2012. Last year, Drutza was sentenced to 20 years in prison for ordering the murder of three men in Moldova over a decade ago. The men were shot, burned, and buried in the forest near Chisinau, Moldova. Astăzi avem o ocazie foarte bună pentru a felicita poliția pentru o realizare importantă de captura a unui membru a grupărilor criminale și a unui personaj renumit în în mediul criminal al Republicii Moldova și nu numai. But after only seven months in a Moldovan prison, the Supreme Court ordered a retrial and set him free. Drutza met our reporter and told him he could deliver a truck packed with 30 pistols and five grenade launchers directly to a location near Odessa, Ukraine, all in less than a week for a price tag of 29,000 euros. To help verify Drutza's capacity to attain the weapons, the reporter asked to buy a sample grenade launcher for 1,000 euros. Drutza asked the reporter to get in his car to hand over the advance payment for the sample grenade launcher. Together, they drove aimlessly around the city to evade potential surveillance. They also discussed the details of delivering the truck of weapons to Ukraine if our reporter wished to follow through with a larger purchase. At the end of the ride, money was exchanged for the sample grenade launcher and, as a token of the potential business to come, Drutza gave the reporter a complimentary semi-automatic pistol. The next day, the handover of the sample rocket-propelled grenade launcher took place. The weapon was placed in a designated car in downtown Chisinau. As Drutza's accomplices watched, another reporter was instructed to enter the car and remove the weapon. Okay, 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 I got, I got, I got, I got. Oh, shit. The reporters brought the weapons to a hotel to take a closer look. The grenade launcher was a model designed to destroy a tank. They verified the authenticity of the weapons and discovered that they were both produced by the Russian army for troops stationed in Transnistria under a mandate to keep the peace. The reporters contacted authorities and agreed to hide the weapons in a nearby forest. The officers, using GPS coordinates and photo references provided by the reporters, soon retrieved the weapons. <laughs> 